While vote counting is underway in Ethiopia after Sunday's parliament election, the first since 2005, the ruling Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front is expected to win a big victory and extend its 19-year rule. The National Electoral Board says that the voting was free and fair, but a leader of Medric, uh, the main opposition coalition, tells VOA that the results are catastrophic. Joining us via phone from Addis Ababa for more on the poll is viewers Peter Heinlein. Peter, why is the opposition describing the election results as catastrophic? Well, we're expecting to hear from the National Electoral Board in about an hour. Uh, they'll give us the first preliminary results from their standpoint. But the observers that the opposition Medrek group and other opposition parties have uh, uh, had out in the field yesterday uh, have been coming back with reports, and they indicate that the Medrek party in these first past the post uh, contests has almost universally come in second to the EPRDF. In these first past the post contests, of course, uh, the EPRDF is competing against uh, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, or more in some cases, opposition parties, and they split the vote. EPRDF only has to come in first in order to win. Mm -hmm. So the Medrek people uh, say that things are looking very, very bad for them. Now, we know that in 2005, after the election, tensions were high. Uh, eventually, there was violence and people died. Now, describe for us the mood in Addis Ababa today and perhaps uh, the rest of the country. I think the mood everywhere is one of apprehension. Nobody knows yet. The word hasn't filtered out to Ethiopians uh, what the results are going to be. Uh, there were a few people at the uh, Medrek headquarters today, young men who had been poll observers and realized the extent of the uh, defeat that they're, they've suffered. And they were a bit angry. Uh, their party leaders, Dr. Uh, Negaso Gidada and uh, others were there to try to calm them down, uh, say, uh, tell them that this is a peaceful party and that they don't want violence. Uh, so we're hoping that that kind of common sense will prevail. Now, given that, uh, as the opposition, Agasso uh, Gadada says, they don't want violence, and, uh, but at the same time, they are not apparently going to accept these results. What are the options they have on the table? Well, right now they're talking about studying what the results are, possibly going to the electoral board with complaints. Uh, they, they say there was systematic cheating. The electoral board uh, spokesman I uh, talked to today said he hadn't really received any reports of that nature, but they're waiting to hear. Uh, after that, if they don't feel they got any, get any, uh, uh, any results from the electoral board, their next option is to go to the courts. But mm -hmm. that's still down the road. We still have to get through these first yeah. few days. Okay, now, Pitt, uh, in, in very few seconds, can you describe why there was such a high voter turnout? Well, that's a mystery. We don't know, but uh, Ethiopians do consider it their duty to go to the polls. We also talked to a lot of people who said they weren't going, so re figures of 90% seem a bit high. Uh, we were at polling stations d throughout the day yesterday, and we saw figures of 50, 60, even 70%. 90% uh, is going to be uh, really quite something, though. That's right. You know, I want to thank you very much, uh, Pete, and thanks uh, for keeping yourself safe over there so you can bring us more of these reports. Pete Heinlein, VOA's reporter in Addis Ababa. Thanks.